वेलकम टू डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड टेलीकम्युनिकेशन एट विद्यालंकर इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी इन दिस डिपार्टमेंट वी हैव टेकन दिस न्यू इनिशिएटिव टू स्टार्ट आवर ओन यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस यूट्यूब चैनल वी आर गोइंग टू अपलोड ऑल ओवर एक्सपेरिमेंट्स वीडियो वैल्यू एडेड कोर्स वीडियो और एनी अदर इम्पॉर्टेंट वीडियोज दिस मटीरियल विल बी अवेलेबल टू ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स इन मुंबई यूनिवर्सिटी एंड दिस मटीरियल विल हेल्प स्टूडेंट्स Uh, to enhance their learning not just in their classroom but even outside the classroom i hope that everyone will uh, like this our effort and in case of any query comments anything they can put it in the comment box thank you electronics tool lab in this experiment we are going to learn about the cascade amplifier this is a circuit of cascade amplifier which is used for reducing the miller effect and the loading effect in this circuit you can see that the emitter of the transistor q2 is connected to the collector of the transistor q1 and input is given at the base of the q1 transistor and output is taken at the collector of q2 transistor and here we have five different types of resistors and four different types of capacitors out of which ce is used as a bypass capacitor This is all about the circuit. This is the implementation of the cascade amplifier. As you can see in the circuit diagram, emitter of Q2 is connected to the collector of Q1. Similarly, here em emitter is connected to the collector, and then RE is a resistance which goes to the ground. This is RE, and this is the C capacitance which acts as a bypass capacitance. Here R2 is given to both the bases of Q1 and Q2. This resistor here acts is R two, which is given to both bases, and R three is given to ground. This wire here is the ground wire, whereas R one and R C is given to VCC, and this line acts as a VCC where we'll where we will give the voltage supply, and input it is at C three, as you can see in the circuit diagram. This wire is used to give the input, and this is C two. from where we are going to get our output now we are giving input with the help of this probe and we are seeing it with the help of this probe which is for first channel now let's give the input now this is the input what which we are getting now let's give the voltage which i have already set at 15 volts and uh, let's see the output how the circuit looks after the connection here we have given the output and uh, here we have given the input and the uh, these are the places where we we have given positive and negative voltage now let's see the output okay now this is the output out obtained this is the input you can see it is 15 into 1 that is 50 millivolts and this is 2.8 into 50 that is 140 millivolts so you can easily see that the uh, input is amplified This is all about the cascade amplifier. That's all for today. Thank you.